Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to read the data from the CSV file and same data I am going to write into another CSV file using Spring Batch, step by step from scratch. So for, for example, I have two CSV files, right? First one is input and second one is output. In, input file, input file we have some data like first name, last name, email id and id id, first name, last name and email id this is by 4 field and total we have 10 record so I am going to read the, this 10 record using spring page and same that I am going to write into output file so currently output file is empty so uh, I am going to read the data from the CSV file and same that I am going to write into output file using spring base step by step. So let's start it. First create the spring starter project and provide the project name spring base CSV to CSV and then group ID and package name. Then click on next then add here batch pro batch dependency spring batch and then click next then finish so you can see currently updating the project once done Now project, project is ready now, so see structure of the, this project, com.popunsoft and this main class. So first, in first step, what I am going to do here, in first step, I have four fields, right? So I am id and name, first name, last name and email id. So in first step, I am going to create the model class with four fields. So let's create the model class like student and package dot model. First name, this is last name and last one, email. So create constructor and set targeted method. and second step second step i am going to do create the batch configuration class so batch configuration student configuration and package name config
at the class level annotation called configuration and second annotation called enable batch processing okay then at the dependency or private step builder factory and second one private job builder factory now two dependency added and then create one bin to read the data from the csv file okay so bin public so to read the data from the csv file so we'll take the help of the flat file item reader flat file item reader of type student read data from csv then create the object of this reader is equal to new reader get return statement so after what we are uh, reader dot set resource you to give the path of the file so reader dot set resource resource so resource resource is available my resource available in inside e drive there is tutorial folder and then data inside data we have these two files so we don't have in local resource we have every kept in drive so new to read the data from drive so we'll use file system resource file system resource we have a drive inside a drive to to a real data inside data csv underscore input dot csv and then reader dot search line mapper new default line mapper set names inside names we require string array type In string array type means why i have to kept here fields so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create one method only static st String 
Oops. So first field is ID and then first name last name and email so in a student class you created one method called fields set lines field set method so new Refer field set mapper student set target type target type of student we have target model class. So no reader is completed and and second step reader writer and processor processor suppose I want to perform some changes on data so for that purpose we will use processor otherwise processor is optional in spring batch so what I'm going to do here so suppose I'm right currently I'm writing the processor to show what is the work of processor so what I'm going to do here this is first name this is last name email we have all fields in lowercase right I'm going to do the game to write the processor so create processor uh, student processor package processor element item processor of input and output input model class and output you have other class also but currently we have same I'm going to return the same input and output. Implement the process method. So what I'm going to do here final string first name is going to write term dot to get first name up to upper I'm going to convert first name in upper case and then final last name and I'm going to get last name top to upper I'm going to convert first name and last name in upper case then I'm going to return the same same or other fields is same so if I final student data is to so item dot get id so whatever id will be returning same and this is email so item dot get email what we have to do here we're going this first name and this is the last name so first name and last name will convert in upper case after that whatever the id we have same id will return and 
this item dot get email email id will not convert anything means whatever in its input file input file we have email id same email id will return and only first name and last name will convert in uppercase so return this data then go to batch student batch configuration and implement bin processor public student processor and new student processor now processor is ready then now I'm going to write one being called writer so write the data into csv file so we'll use the flat file item reader writer sorry let file item writer writer clear the object of this class writer Writer dot set resource where you I'm going to write so read resource web resource available in inside the drives so in get file item resource new file system item resource file system item resource We have e drive, e drive tutorial data csv underscore output dot csv then delimit element line aggregator. In wrapper build extractor of type student field extractor field extractor of set names names we have created one method in student class at fields so fill then aggregator dot set fill extractor and writer dot set line aggregator line aggregator then return writer okay so writer is ready now i'm going to create one step and job so step in public step student is 
so we have step builder factory dot get dot chunk we have to define the chunk size so currently I'm going to define five and you have to add the generic like student comma student dot reader so we have reader and then processor so we have processor also dot writer writer then build to add the return statement so this step is completed and now public job process the student job So we have a job below factory dot get dot flow flow or type is step so a step that is good with step created execute student step dot in dot build at the return statement now job is ready to execute so I am going to run the job so currently please check the input and output so inside input we have 10 field and inside the output we don't have any data right so run the project and file to start description file to determine the suitable driver class okay what happening means by default data source is enabled currently actually I'm not using any data source right I'm not, not going to read the right data into database so by default database is enabled when you add the spring boot application so So add the enable batch enable auto configuration exclude data source auto configuration okay and then run the project again So now job status completed okay so let's go to file and check the output now output see 
first name converted and last name converted in uppercase and then remaining are same so that's it in simple step we've created the job created job to read the data from the csv file and now to write the data into same data into another csv file using spring batch so first step first first step what you have to do first create the model class whatever you have filled so and then batch configuration and if you want to perform any changes on data then you write the processor otherwise processor is optional in spring batch so that's it in this video next video we'll see next how to read the data from the csv file and how to write the data into database so that's it in this video if you like if you learn something from this video please like and subscribe my channel pavan soft channel thank you thank you so much